Aloha. This was one of my favorite books from the Sesame Street Book Club. Molly Moves to Sesame Street featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets by Judy Frudberg, illustrated by Jean Chandler. Molly Moves to Sesame Street. Molly stood on Sesame Street for the first time, looking around at her new neighborhood. The movers were carrying boxes and crates into her new apartment. Nothing looked familiar. I wish we hadn't moved, thought Molly sadly. Molly went inside where her mother was working. Is this my new room? She asked. Her mother nodded. Molly stared at the bare walls. It doesn't look like my room, she said. Don't worry, Molly. That's because your things aren't in it yet. Molly's mother showed her what was inside the cardboard boxes. See, she said, here are all your things, and when they are unpacked, this will look like your own room. Molly started taking her things out of one of the boxes and putting them away. First, Molly put away her collection of empty cereal boxes, lining them up nearly neatly on the bookcase. Then she put her miniature toy horses on her bedside table. Where are my marbles? Molly wondered as she rummaged through a box. Oh, here they are, right in the jar where they belong. Then she found the picture she had drawn of her mother and father, but she was too short to hang it up over her bed. I'll hang the picture, said Molly's father. Why don't you go out and play? I don't know where to go, said Molly. Just walk down Sesame Street, Molly, said her mother. I'm sure you'll find some friends, and by the time you get back, we'll have everything put away. So Molly went outside, excited about making new friends. As she walked along Sesame Street, she heard laughter coming from behind a fence. And somebody was counting out loud, 18, 19, ah, 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 20, here I come, ready or not. What's going on, wondered Molly as she came to a play area. Nobody was there. That's strange, thought Molly. I know I heard voices. Hey, is anyone here, she yelled. Big Bird popped out from behind the fence. Hello, said Molly. I'm Molly, and I just moved here. Oh, boy, exclaimed Big Bird, a new neighbor on Sesame Street. I'm Big Bird. Hey, everybody, he shouted. Come on out and meet Molly. Suddenly, Molly was surrounded by her new neighbors. Greetings, said the Count. I am the Count. Do you know why they call me the Count? Because I love to count things. One new neighbor. Ah, 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 ah. Me cookie monster, say cookie monster. And me called cookie monsters because me love cookies. And do you know why they call me Ernie? Ernie asked. Molly, because that's my name. <laughs> Hello, Molly, said Bert, shaking her hand. I am very pleased to meet you. I am cute and adorable, furry old Grover, said Grover, peeking over Bert's shoulder. Would you like to play hide and seek with me, with us? Sure, exclaimed Molly, and I'll be it. So everyone hid while Molly counted to twin. Ready or not, here I come, called Molly. As she passed the trash can, she heard a noise and lifted the lid out of the can. Gotcha, said Molly. She tagged Oscar. Hey, yelled Oscar. Cut it out. I'm not playing any dumb game. Don't bother me. He slammed down the lid of his can. Ernie's voice came from his hiding place. Don't pay any attention to him, Molly. That's just Oscar, our neighborhood grouch. I can be pretty grouchy myself sometimes, said Molly. She banged on Oscar's can. Oscar, I wouldn't play with you if you were the last grouch on earth. Hey, said Oscar, opening the lid of the can again. I couldn't have said that better myself. This is the beginning of a terrible friendship. Then everyone came out of hiding. Come on, Molly, said Big Bird. Let's all go to Mr. Hooper's store for a snack. So, you're our new neighbor, said Mr. Hooper when he met Molly. I hope you'll like it here with us on Sesame Street. Oh, I already do, she exclaimed. Uh, Molly, said Bert, sipping his water. Would you like to come over and see my paper clip collection? And my great set of drums, cried Ernie. Let me ask my mother, said Molly. I'll be right back. Molly was surprised when she saw her new room. Wow, she exclaimed. This really does look like my room. And it almost feels like it, too. May I ask my friends to come over to see it? Of course you may, answered her parents. Molly went out on her front stoop and called out to her new friends. Hey, Ernie, Bert, Big Bird, Grover, everybody, come and see my new room. And they all hurried to Molly's new house. Oh, my, said Bert. You collect cereal boxes? 
And miniature horses, exclaimed Ernie. Big Bird admired Molly's drawings of her mother and father while the Count began counting Molly's marble collection. Oscar popped up from the cardboard boxes. You've got great taste in furniture, he said. Molly looked around at all of her new friends in her new room and smiled. Now it feels like my room, she cried happily, and I feel right at home.